Hi everybody, I'm Tara from Crooked Row and today we're gonna talk about volunteers. A lot of people pull up um, the, the weeds in their garden and they consider volunteers. If you don't know what a volunteer is, a volunteer is a, um, usually from the previous year, like let's say it was a tomato seed that actually made it into the ground um, and the next year you'll get a plant that you did not put in there. And so it will grow you just a normal plant. We have hundreds of volunteers, ones that that are, are just amazingly prolific. Um, and a lot of it's because we leave a lot of our weeds in the garden so that we can have wild edibles so that sometimes it's just because we don't have time now right around our plants we try to keep that very well weeded so that it has enough nutrition and especially water from the soil you know when it rains and um so so we weed around our plants but a lot of times we let things grow and so um I, I think that that is the way to go and so today we're going to uncover some of our um, the things in the garden that have been volunteered so either a bird planted it or plant released the seed onto the ground and it planted it <laughs> you never know um, but we're going to look at take a couple take a look at a couple of those today and maybe check out some of my beautiful flowers oh my gosh look at how beautiful this is this, this is a dahlia I can't remember what kind this is and my tag. Oh wait, here's a tag. Oh, this is Cafe Ole Rose. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow, it's a beautiful flower. Mm, mm, mm. These, I believe, are called Linda's Baby. They are so beautiful. I love that. This is called Labyrinth. It's almost like what would you say, Christopher? Tropical? Uh-huh. It's very beautiful. These are all part of a package. I think it was called Cotton Candy. Um, so I don't know what the individual flowers are called, but whew, these are all so pretty. And this one, you can't really see the depth of beautifulness out of this, but it's just a, it's a very striking, it would be beautiful in a flower arrangement um, because the dahlias are all always so full but this one ha almost has I want to say a star shape but it has more sides to it than a star does but it's very pretty and then look at this this is what I was waiting for this is called breakout oh my gosh that thing it's huge it's gorgeous I hope the camera does it justice. That is worth planting every year. Okay, so we have these raised beds that we have a trellis over. And if you walk through here, sorry it's so weedy, um, we have our cucumber vines. And if you look, it looks like there's this nasty, disgusting, I don't know deadness right here and that is a potato um, there's actually a couple in this bed and here is another one and it's still thriving so we're not gonna take this one out just yet but I wanted Christopher to dig in there and this one that has died back and just see guys we did nothing we did not plant these potatoes in here so Christopher you get in there and I'm gonna watch you pull these out so, oh <laughs> hey right that's surface. a big one Hey, that's another good size one. We did not plant these. I mean, I, I guess it was, I guess the birds got the seeds last year. Is that what you're thinking? That's a small yeah. one, but hey, we like small ones. Also, a potato could have gotten left in here. And just no, we, we planted sweet potatoes in here, bud. This one. Wow, that is a big one. I think that's it. That is so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's see what we got. So here's what we got. We Again, we did not plant anything here. This must have been from a bird or a kid or something. I don't know. Um, I know there's several potato plants in this bed that we did not plant. But, I mean, this is two, four, 
actually those are so tiny let's just say it's four hey for most people i mean we have six in our family but for most people that's a dinner and we did nothing how awesome is that see so don't pull up your volunteers let them grow so it looks like we actually found another one right here so we're gonna go ahead and dig this out too we're having to be very careful because our sweet potatoes are growing in this bed so as you dig you just have to tread tenderly okay so it looks like we got this was a very big one <laughs> that's a very nice potato uh but one two three these are small ones um but we definitely got four big potatoes and then one two three four five six seven eight eight small potatoes from plants that we did not harvest whatsoever so so i think it's completely worth um looking at the potatoes i think it's totally worth keeping your volunteer potato tomato like all those plants as you saw we have the the kale that is uh, was planted all by itself so we have all of these that that this is food this is this is definitely a meal that we did nothing to get other than not pull the pull the weed so remember just keep your volunteers if we can keep our volunteers and get food from them anybody can thanks bye